Oh, wow, that's just, I'm going to have to cut that out. <laughs> Hello, backers. Welcome to a very exciting update. As you can see, we've got a couple of friends with us here today, and there's a few things to show you. Now, it's hard to know where to start, but I think I've got a pretty cool idea. First up, it blinks, it works, and you know what else it does. <laughs> Needless to say, the solar bank is alive and well, and we are very excited to report that. Uh, looks have improved since what you saw in our last update, but the uh, performance is even better. So we have the solar panel, and so when you have it in direct sunlight, which we're not in now, it's evening time here, uh, the solar panel will actually register how much power you're generating on these LEDs on the side here. And when the speaker is on, you'll see the, the blue light on here. Switch that one off and you shut it off. No matter what, the solar panel is always harvesting power and putting it into the battery pack inside of the unit. You can listen to music anytime you want. So that's very cool. You want to see that one, don't you? That, this one, that. It's easy enough to slide into the bag. And there's two ways that you can mount it inside of there because you can have it here so there's easy access to the power button uh, or you can just slide it this way to maximize your solar energy, solar energy that you're harvesting. Uh, so that's all very good and cool. Zip the bag shut. There's a USB cable which is inside the bag. That plugs into the USB port here through a window and then you've got the power pocket on the outside of the bag where you've got a USB port which I should have put an iPhone cable inside of there but there's always an iPhone cable tucked in there that we're shipping with the bag. Um, and you can pull that out and charge your phone anytime you're on the go. That has a direct connection into one of the two USB ports on the solar bank. So solar bank itself, just so you have a look at the ports, two USB ports, fast charge, regular charge, that's two amps, one amps. Oh, am I out of frame? Uh, two amps here, so that's fast charge, one amp here on this port, auxiliary port to plug in a regular style audio cable and the micro USB port to charge if you want to plug this thing and charge it up over nightfall. I don't know where it stopped there, but it did just stop. So that's how the solar bank slides into there and you can see how that functions. The black bag, we're super stoked with how it turned out. Uh, you can see the nice little life pack logo down here. Uh, yep, yeah, of course the solar window for that. There's the cool looking zippers which lock everything up. There's the life zone, there's the work zone, and we'll look at the inside of the bag a little bit more in a second. You know what the other cool part is? And I know a few of you are gonna be excited about this. There's a water bottle pocket, as we promised you, uh, but without too much info that we had from beforehand. So there's actually, it'll fit up to a 750 mil bottle very easily. You can throw this leash around the bottle and that way it's fully secure. We did a lot of testing and if you hold a water bottle at the base, it didn't necessarily hold it in all the time. But now if you hold it in from the top, it's super happy. So there's that. Um, and now, ladies and gentlemen, there's, oh yeah, laptop protection on the bottom of the bag. We've increased uh, an extra plastic layer here so it is not gonna get dirty when you drop it in a puddle by accident. And also there's an extra layer of padding now between the layer of the laptop, the fabric, and then another layer of foam. But here, because rain does happen and you wanna be ready for that rain, I don't want to drop this. Life pack's ready for rain. Are you? So, stoked for this. And now, you've got the gray bag. We've got about 60% of you have chosen the black bag, 40-ish percent have chosen the gray bag. So, yeah, happy that we have both. A uh, little closer look at the gray bag. Uh, I'll show you the lock on this just to show the functionality of that. You pull this out, the cable will be red in the production versions and will be a little bit thicker than this one. You can pull this out, you can lock up the front zips, you can lock up the life zone that is, uh, or you can lock up just the, the rear zips with or without the cable retracted so that can just sit inside so you don't need to have it hanging out. Or you can lock, whoop, you can lock all four zippers together so you know that all your stuff is secure and this is not going anywhere. You're well versed with the passport pockets. 
or you can put your phone in there if you want to, or you can put your wallet in there. We looked into doing the RFID technology in this for RFID blocking. We actually weren't able to make it reliable enough because of the zippers, there was some leakage. And in our research, we found that the people that were concerned about RFID uh, blocking for their wallets, it was more about credit card theft than it was passport theft. And the people that are concerned about it already have an RFID blocking wallet, so therefore they can put that in there. So these pockets do not have RFID protection. Uh, but as far as all of our research went with the, ba the backers we reached out to, it wasn't a huge concern. So hopefully that's all good with you guys. Uh, rain cover, of course, you can get a bit a better look at the black section there on this bag. Uh, pockets here in the shoulder straps, of course. Look there, little life pack logo here. Uh, this logo, uh, the little L that you can see, is reflective as well as the life pack logo on the bottom of the bag, as well as the material that's here on the rain cover. Thank you, Helen, for that one. Uh, yeah, here's the bag, bit of a closer look at that. And one other thing to show you is just a little bit, this was a mistake, so we've ripped it apart. Always fun to see what can happen in factories. Uh, so the inside of this bag, there's the face, which is a layer of fabric. Then there's a layer of water resistant material. Then there's a layer of foam. Then there's a hard layer of plastic. Then there's a layer of inside liner. So in terms of anti-theft, it's really strong to actually try to get anything through there is not gonna happen. Also, it keeps the bag looking a lot more stiff and sophisticated just in one frontal piece there. Uh, and it just, yeah, looks better, works better, does everything. So, glad to have you guys on board. Look forward to hearing your thoughts on all of this and we will talk soon. Thank you very much. <laughs>